you care to talk to me? This is the mastery camo for Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer. As you guys can see, it looks really freaking amazing. In case you guys are curious about the name, the name is Atomic. Really, really dope name in my opinion. It's kind of like a like a nuke camo if they want to call it that way. It's pretty much just Damascus, but with it's like colors kind of like a uh, switch. You know how the blue is more dominant than the orange. In this case, the orange is more dominant than the blue, and it's all moving. So still a pretty cool concept in my opinion. I dig the camo. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if you guys are curious about the other camo, Dark Ether. It's going to be a green and black sort of camo instead of purple from uh, Call of Duty freaking Black Ops Cold War. So it's still Dark Ether, but in a different form. So let me know what you guys think about these camos. Pretty tight or what? Yeah, before we show you guys the rest of the 200 plus camos, let's have a look at the challenges for these guns. At, or for these camos, I should say, and judge whether or not we're going to have a difficult time unlocking these camos. And I'll be showing you guys how to unlock these camos in Call of Duty Vanguard. So, uh... Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on those notifications. I am feeling a little bit tired. I have not slept at all. The grind has been terribly real. And I just hope I'm doing enough for you guys to be entertained and, inf and or informed, you know. Especially because I'm getting all these videos out uh, before the game is already out. So that's pretty cool. So let's rock and roll. Let's see what's up. So there's two ways you can actually check out the challenges for each of the camos. The first one is just to go to the camouflage uh, freaking section. You can just see all the camos here and then the... The challenge will appear on the top left there, but uh, another way you can actually look at the challenges is here, which is actually really cool. Uh, these challenge details pretty much show you guys like what is going to happen and what you have to do to pretty much uh, get all these camos, and it'll show you what camel challenges you are closest to finishing. So I'm really close to finishing the camel challenge with a certain amount of attachments here, which is really cool. But now let's actually go through the camos and show you guys uh, what you have to do. So obviously you need eliminations. You gotta get up to 400 eliminations with a gun, you know, the pretty much primaries in order to freaking body people, which is typical. Of course, you need your 100 headshots as is classic. You need your 50 multi kills, so double kills or higher. You need your five kills without dying 30 times, so bloodthirsties basically. You need your 100 long shots basically, which is all typical. You need 100 point blank kills in the case of assault rifles, which is very interesting because usually SMGs get this sort of thing. At least we're not seeing any mounted kills, right? For this one, you need 250 eliminations with 10 attachments equipped. So as much attachments as you can have equipped as possible, which is kind of makes sense with the new gunsmith system here. For this one, you need to actually get 180 S kills with these three attachments. I need to do it with a certain barrel, a certain 30 round mag, and a certain stock. So this is where they kind of change things up, where they force you to run certain attachments. And then the rest of the attachments can be whatever you want, but you need to make sure you're running these three. So I'm kind of I'm currently working on that as you guys can see. So let me know if you guys like the little switch up there. They have to be ADS kills, not hip fire kills. For the next one, I have to get 100 headshots this time with three certain attachments, a certain barrel, a certain mag, and a certain perk equipped. For the next one, I need to get 100 kills while moving. So I'm guessing like rushing or sprinting or whatever the case is, with another sort of mag, another stock, and another perk. So uh, a lot of the attachments are gonna be different, obviously for the last uh, three camos here, but you basically need 100 of something. So it's usually gonna be 100 kills while moving, 100 headshots, or 100 ADS kills, or it could be something else. And then after you get all these camels done, then you get good old gold, which looks absolutely beautiful in this game. Once you get gold in a certain section, you get diamond. And obviously when you get diamond on every gun, then you get atomic, which is actually really cool. As you guys saw, there was no mount kills, there's no cover kills. The camel grind this year isn't as exhausting or boring, which is actually really good. I like that they added the fact that you gotta use certain attachments. It might be annoying, but at least it's not as annoying as mounted kills, which is definitely much appreciated. Speaking of which, we got the bazookas, and none of the bazookas or the RPGs really have lock-on. So for them challenges, we need to get 100 eliminations, so that's pretty easy. We need to destroy 100 enemy kill streaks, equipment, or field upgrades. So it's not even just kill streaks, you can destroy field upgrades. Like a field mic, you see one on the floor? Destroy it and you're good to go, which is pretty cool. Next one, you need to destroy 50 ground streak or field upgrades. So once again, very easy to do. 
and then you have to destroy 50 enemy aerial kill streaks. So this one's gonna be a little bit hard, obviously, because you gotta you can't you gotta aim at the sky and pray that you hit like a UAV or something. That one's gonna be kind of tough. For Deadeye here, uh, Camel, you need to destroy three enemy kill streaks in one game 30 times. So this one might be a little bit hard too. It just depends on how much your uh you know, your enemies are kind of streaking on you. And then with that, you'll get the gold camel for the bazooka. It doesn't seem that bad, but I think it will be terrible just because you can't lock on, which kind of sucks. And then there's one rocket launcher that I want to look look at, and that was this MK11 launcher because it's like a nuke, like an actual nuke tube or whatever. And for this one, the challenges are 200 eliminations, 100 enemy kill streaks, equipment, or field upgrades. So that's not too bad. 50 long shot kills. So you gotta like go to hardcore and just pray that you hit somebody, basically. 50 double kills, which might be hard, and 50 triple kills. I'm guessing this thing reloads relatively fast, but you're definitely not to go to like hardcore to get at least the double kills and triple kills done. The rocket launcher is still gonna be annoying, which kind of sucks for the camo grind. But other than that, it's really not all that terrible to try and unlock uh, atomic. But yeah, for the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you guys what the camos look like of atomic. Hold on, what the camos look like of pretty much atomic and dark easter like these completionist camos are actually really really freaking nice so i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like on every freaking gun in the game and you guys could judge for yourself you guys are gonna grind out this camo let me know how you guys feel about the camos in this game do you guys think it's fire do you guys think it's whatever i actually i'm pretty excited to do the camo right now i'm definitely gonna do multiplayer first at least most likely i will because it'll be available in warzone first most likely but we shall see let me know if you, what they can improve on, if you want them to improve on something, or what kind of concepts you guys have in mind for master completionist camels. But yeah, hopefully I didn't talk too much. Hopefully this video is entertaining, and enjoy the showcase of the Atomic and the beautiful Dark Ether camo. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one, and keep being big ballers. I love you all.